Good morning. I was watching Klaus Schwab in Davos, you know, and behind him there was a text on the wall said World Economic Forum. And then to his left there was another text said World Government Summit. So what's this? Well, they meet, yeah. These New World Order people. They met in Dubai in April and it was kicked off by Klaus Schwab, yeah. The first session was about are we ready for a new world order? This was a conspiracy theory, wasn't it? Yeah. I think I tried to talk to some people about this thing, yeah. You know, they really want a world government and they didn't believe me. No. No, this is totally unreal. Of course, this is what they are going for. We have been saying this for a long, long time. This is what they want. And, uh, you know, one tactic that they have, I think it's a tactic, yeah, is to pick leaders that are totally incompetent all over the planet so that people will be more accepting to the idea, you see. Oh yeah, uh, Sturgeon here in Scotland, she's totally incompetent. Yeah, let's go for a world government. You see what I mean? Oh yeah, Joe Biden is uh, is awful. Yeah, we can't elect a good leader anymore. You know, let's go for this world government. I think it's a tactic. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, and these New World Order guys, they have this job. They, Their job is to control politicians, control governments. Yeah, that's their job. And the governments, they control the people, right? And then we have the, the authorities, they control the people. That's their job. And then we have media. Yeah, media actually control people and politicians, yes. Different jobs, you see. And our job is to, you know, totally disconnect from all these guys. <laughs> Don't listen to them, that's our job, you know. Get away from this toxic influence. Live our lives freely. Yeah, that's our job, I think. Right. Oh yeah, so now this story about uh, Ukrainian women. They came to Sweden, refugees, and they came to these asylum accommodations. In one of, the, one of these accommodations, they were told what to wear. It's true. They, uh, the management, they didn't want the Ukrainian women to wear shorts or short sleeves because it would provoke others in the accommodation, you see. I'm sure these Ukrainian women are sort of maybe shocked, I don't know. You know they come to Sweden and they are told what to wear. Hmm. You know, I like shorts. Yeah. I like short sleeves too. I'm not provoked. No, no, not at all. Ah, oh, this is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yeah. All right. Be good.